Hello, Vira users! Alex here, your V-Ray guide, and today I want to show you a free cool plugin for 3D Max and V-Ray. With the help of this plugin, you'll be able to isolate your models and to change their color literally in minutes. This is a very handy and a huge time saver. And it's been made uh, by uh, someone that called Ivan Tepavikarov. Uh, he's a CG artist. If you go to his website, Tepavikarov, uh, com, you'll be able to get to this uh, web page where you can click on max scripts and you can get a lot of free cool uh, scripts I actually didn't went through all of them I uh, only checked the render mask uh, this is something that I was actually looking for and um, uh, also we can get here a video tutorial if you click on this tab here you'll be able to go to his demo channel and uh, check out his video tutorials unfortunately this one doesn't have um, voiceover with explanations but it's got really really easy follow uh, step by step demonstration of uh, this plugin how you can select and isolate models and get really cool accurate masks uh, for further work in photoshop for post work in photoshop Okay, so uh, let's see how can we get it, how can we uh, install it and use it. So if you press here, you'll be able to get this uh, render mask. Just save the file to your computer. And as you see, I already downloaded it. If you do double click and uh, press next, I agree. Then you need to go and locate your root folder uh, of your of your uh, actual files right here program files autodesk oops autodesk 2012 select the root file and press ok and then when you're done press install and finish so this will actually install your plugin into your 3d max and you'll be able to locate it at user uh, customize uh, custom user interface if you click on this panel and you go to toolbars you scroll down here to Recream Script, Render Mask. After locating it, you can drag and drop it into the Quick Access Toolbar right here. And as you see here, this one is already located. So you can also remove it from there. Now it's gone, drag and drop, boom, it's right here. Okay, so I can close this panel and I can click on the Render Mask and I have this really nice panel uh, that controls uh, all different types of masks that we can have and render with this uh, awesome free plugin. Okay, so uh, let's start our demonstration. And let me just select, for instance, I would like to change the uh, color of my, uh, of my uh, Togo, uh, Linear Reset Togo uh, couches from green to red. So in order to do that, I need to make a mask and isolate it. And in Photoshop, I can easily change it. So we can use a luminance mask. Just select your objects, press render, and this plugin will easily render those masks, uh, easily render those isolated objects into a mask. As you can see, uh, with 100% of, uh, of zooming to this image, we can see that this uh, pass is anti-aliased and it got really, really nice and smooth selection to the, uh, to the objects, to the models. The next one is the V-Ray wire color. As you know, V-Ray wire color is the only pass that been anti-aliased in 3D Max. Of course, uh, Luminance can uh, supply you the same results, only this will be black and white and the wire color will be uh, color uh, defined. So uh, basically you can select objects, give those objects a different color and uh, render those objects with, uh, with those colors. Now, Material ID is uh, if you have, for instance, one object 
and this object contain different textures. You can select only this particular part of the object and give it material ID and you can render those. You can see the demonstration in uh, Ivan's video uh, regarding those. I just want to cover something really useful and basic that you can start using on a spot. So uh, this one also really cool, reflection. We can, uh, we can render this uh, reflection pass and um, we can control, we can totally control uh, our, our models, our objects, uh, how they've been rendered, how they've been reflected and uh, what amount of glossiness, IUR, environment multiplier, and how many subdivisions. This one actually uh, is pretty much accurate. This one refers to the, uh, to the quality of, of the reflection. If there's too many grainy, if it's too many noise, uh, it, uh, you can always increase the subdivisions and have really nice clear mask. Okay, I'm not gonna render this one because I wanna move on with this plugin and uh, you can you can check different you can also check the vectors uh, this one refers to different uh, different masks you can check the video of even if you want to go into this however I want to skip it and go through uh, directly to the lights this one is really cool uh, you can select a light and you can select here what you actually want this light to use and you can render only this light so basically, um, I'm, I've selected my uh, photometric light in, uh, in the scene that I'm using, and I'm going to render only this light affecting my models. While this light cache being calculated, we can already see um, that I'm rendering only one light, one, uh, one photometric light that been affect, uh, that affect my selected objects of this scene so basically if you want to increase uh, some light in your scene you can select it render it and then add it in Photoshop so for instance only your couches will get more uh, spotlight if it's not enough or uh, you can direct your light and have if your background or Sun or whatever that is any light you can select it render it separately and then use it as uh, as a layer mask or as a latent mask in Photoshop in order to get more of this light. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna render this image. I want to show you something, uh, something cool. I'm gonna switch back to the luminance. I'm gonna select my ceiling, my walls, right here, and the back wall, and I wanna. Uh, I want to show you something really cool that uh, I just actually discovered by mistake how you can use photos in order to give a really cool uh, look to your walls. So I'm going to go and render this pass, whoops, the selected pass, uh, only for, uh, for my ceiling and my walls. And I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to show you how we can give a really cool texture to our walls uh, only by using Photoshop. We can manipulate, we can change color of the walls. So uh, let me show you how to do it. All right, so now we need to open our Photoshop. And as you see here, I got my scene. This is a latest project that I was working on in Aerosate. And what I'm aiming is I want to give a really cool um, I want to use a photo to give a really cool texture to my walls. So what I can do is I can uh, open one of my uh, skies. I'm actually uh, going to use some sky texture for this. Let's take something, uh, something like this and open it in Photoshop right here. And then we can use this map in order to give a really cool um, look to our to our image right here okay well, something like that Could work fine I guess now you need to switch you can play with those but uh, I found you can you can use different uh, modes but I found that overlay 
might work at the best to, to get this effect to your scene, okay? So after doing this, we need to isolate uh, this map and we can do it with the help of this plugin that we did right now, okay? So I'm going to open the uh, layer, the mask that we rendered. I'm gonna do Control A, Control C. I'm gonna go back to my image. By selecting the sky layer, I go and I reveal all, layer mask, reveal all. And then I go into the channel, I select the channel, and I Control V, I paste it, paste this mask into my image. And voila, Control D to deselect, I got my uh, image to work with this, uh, with this apartment. So as you see here, we can use different, uh, different manipulation modes in order to give a really cool look to our, our room. So something like that could work really nice. Linear, uh, linear light, also not bad. Hard light, also give cool results. And overlay, in my, in my opinion, overlay is one of the best. Okay, so uh, basically you can also change the color of the walls and give different colors such as uh, such as blue <laughs> or a cyan, you know. Um, and this easily can be manipulated and tweaked. As you see here, I added, uh, let me actually show you how I did this one. I'm going to delete it. And as you see here, I duplicated my image and I have isolated. So I get only the, uh, the upper part of the ceiling, only the walls. So by going to the adjustments, oops, let me select this layer. So by going into uh, layer, new adjustment layer, we can add hue saturation and by clicking here, use previous layer to create clipping mask, we can affect only this layer and not the whole image. Now, what this thing does is we can manipulate the whole color of our ceiling. And if we press colorized, we can actually get really wicked results. Okay, this one looks cool enough for this tutorial. All right, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. If you have any questions, any comments, you can post them below this video and I'll be more than glad to assist you. Uh, go visit Ivan's website and download this plugin and donate. You got a donation button there. Go ahead, donate, help this guy out. Um, it's a really cool plugin. It's a huge time saver. You don't need to re-render your images. You can change everything on a spot, easy, literally with minutes. All right? So I hope you enjoyed this. This was Alex, your bureau guy. Talk soon. Ciao.